and Shirley. I think it's sweet how you remember all these names. Well, I have to. How else are you supposed to make friends around here? Is there no one else your age in the village? Well, um, uh, no. All the kids are a couple years older than me, like Bonnie or Bella. So in school, I kind of, um, keep to myself. How awful. Honestly, you're the first almost grown-up I made friends with. You just seem so nice. Well, I would be honored for you to think of me that way. But just between you and me, I am not a full grown-up. What? How old are you? Well, it's hard to explain, but I kind of just feel it in a way. Oh, I get it. A lady never reveals her age, <laughs> right? Hey, girls. Oh, hey! She's a little shy. I see. Well, are you ready to go? Yeah, I just finished helping Olive feed her well-named horses over here. <laughs> yeah, well, it's time for you to get to know the town better. I want to take you to the library today. Oh, sounds great. Thank you for having me here, Olive. Thanks for helping. Now I can go play early. Bye! After you, my lady. to it, they have a fine read. No spoiling anything. Or you can read between the lines what will happen next. <laughs> Was that a pun? I try. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to see you coming out of your shell here more. I am trying to get along with the people here. They are very accepting so far. <laughs> what? That's what an old friend used to say to me when I was little. That's all. S -s sorry I didn't mean to- um, Hey, why are we here anyways? That's right. I wanted to talk to you finally in private. I want to tell you the rules if you wish to live here. There is three. No murder, no stealing, and especially no going into the forest unprotected. Understood. Anything else I should know? Yes, I wanted to say you look. Jesse! Fawn. Oh, Jazzy, how I've missed you terribly these past few days. I enjoyed the vacation. Hmm? I said I've been showing Panky this collection. Oh, well, I can take it from here. Huh? She must be exhausted from all this running around. Am I right, dear? Of course I am! She needs some girl time. Now out with you! You don't need to- Oh, but I want to! Now shoo! Fine. <laughs> well, that was rather easy. Hmm. Now, what shall I do with you? Oh, we are going to have an understanding, man stealer. Excuse me? You are going to stay away from Jasper. You don't own him. If I want to see him, I can. I think you can change your mind. I'm sorry, but that doesn't honestly scare me. Listen here, cat. I've killed before and I'll do it again. You have no idea who you are dealing with. And if you wish to keep that a secret, I suggest you step away from the girl. Well, well, well. If it isn't the fire boy. Can it? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean for that comment to burn you. I said shut your face! Stop! Fawn, if you don't leave, we will. And I will tell Jasper everything. 
It's your choice. <laughs> it won't be the last time. I'll see you later when your god dog isn't watching. <sighs> Shush, Mutt. Farewell. <laughs> that was something. You need to stay out of trouble. What if I wasn't here? I never asked for your protection, or anyone's in that matter. That wasn't... Never mind. Bonnie sent me for you. That's why I'm here. Oh, okay. By your tone, I thought... Never mind. Hey, Bruce, right? Yeah. Thank you. No problem. 